Well, uh, congratulations, Anderson. You've got some great news. Yep. We're, um, we're, we're doing two things. Well, maybe three. Um, one is we're celebrating the um, series of earmarks that Jerry Moran was able to get for us. So we got $43 uh, million in the omnibus bill that was passed um, this past year. And um, we're doing, we're going to use that to um, apply to our new cancer building. And then, um, in addition, we're announcing a $100 million gift from the Sunderland Foundation. And um, that is a group that's based here in Kansas City. They were formed as a result of the sale of Ash Grove Cement, um, which uh, that, that was the largest uh, cement maker in North America. And, um, and they created a billion dollar plus foundation and so um and it turns out that um, uh, charlie sunderland which is one of the the brothers um who's a major part of that organization was the president of our uh hospital our health system board and he was also a, uh, a bone marrow transplant patient of ours Mm. So, obviously, he was, you know, very, um, you know, educated on these issues and and motivated to do something around around cancer. They've also uh, uh, they've also funded Children's Mercy, I believe, right? Right. So a few years ago, um, they put up seventy five million dollars, uh, and the Hall Family Foundation put up seventy five million dollars to help fund the new building uh, for um, the Children's Mercy Research Institute, which your friend and my friend, um, uh, Tom, uh, heads up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what is, so I have $143 million. Uh, what are you going to do with this? Well, we're building a, a combined research and clinical facility that will enable us to consolidate more or less, you know, the, the the majority of our cancer research and as much of our outpatient cancer services that, that takes place on this campus into one facility. And right now, the cancer center is in 12 different buildings just on this campus. Mm -hmm. So we're really, you know, pretty spread out. And, um, uh, this is our opportunity to bring everybody together under under one roof and to really stimulate, foster uh, collaboration, cross disciplinary, you know, types of approaches, and uh, we're very excited about it. You needed the building badly. Absolutely. Does this buy the building, or do you need to raise some more money? Oh no. Um, well, so the third thing we're going to do is we're kicking off the public phase of our campaign. Uh, so, so we'll be launching a capital campaign to, um, you know, to continue to to raise funds for this building. Mm -hmm. How much do you need? Y you know, the full price tag is probably going to be somewhere between four hundred and fifty and five hundred uh, million, and so um, we're probably you know looking to um, to raise you know fifty to sixty percent of that. I would say. Wow, that and when when does uh, groundbreaking happen? Well, we hope that um, uh, that takes place in the um, in the second or third quarter of two thousand twenty four. Oh, so you're really really moving fast. We've uh, we've gotten uh, approval from the state for the selection of a um, of a planning uh, architectural firm and um, we're kind of waiting to cross some T's and dot some I's uh, on that but um, it's a partnership between a local group and a very nationally prominent um, architectural firm that has tons and tons of experience in designing and building um, you know NCI designated comprehensive cancer center facilities.
Well, could you tell me what it is? Um, I I don't think the contract is signed yet, so the state's not letting us uh, release that. Uh, they're still in the final stages of negotiation, mm -hmm. so it could. It's not necessarily going to be these folks, but I th I think we're ninety ninety plus percent there. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, is this so? This is going to be a research building or a hospital building, uh, or no? It, it it's research and outpatient cancer care. And, and it'll be located pretty much adjacent, you know, within within 100 yards of our inpatient uh, cancer care facility. Well, so that that sounds great. Um, yeah, it must have taken quite a bit of work on your part to make it happen. Um, it was one presentation. Well, really? Oh, tell me more. Yeah. How did yeah. that work? Um, well, obviously, you know, we did a little bit of groundwork as far as um, talking with this foundation and and their leadership and expressing our interest in making a presentation to them. And, and um, you know, they agreed to have that happen. And um, we set up the presentation and literally like a day or two later, they said, we're in for a hundred million. Fantastic. And this is going to be named after them or not? Um, they're, uh, you know, the, it's uh, right now that's not the case. I, I would love for that to be the case. They're, um, they're not, they tend not to be folks that like to put their names on buildings. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. Oh, uh, that's great. That means you still have that to sell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they're a, they're an incredible, you know, family. And I think the it was the fourth generation of Sunderlands that uh, uh, that were involved in this whole whole deal. So it's it's been a, a business, a family run business for, you know, four four generations. And obviously a, a, a huge they were a huge uh, uh, Kansas City concern. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Is, is there anything I forgot to ask? Anything you wanted to bring up or? Yeah, I, you know, I, I think that, uh, you know, one thing that is gonna be our, our major, uh, you know, focus for this building. And, and I think something that our, that the planning phase with our architectural group is going to help determine is one, we want to define what the vision will be for the KU Cancer Center, you know, well into the 21st century. And we also recognize that we may have to do this in a, in a couple of phases. And in fact, that's probably quite likely. And third, we want to make sure that whatever we build now doesn't get in the way of the ultimate vision for this place and that we can add to it without, um, you know, without it being a problem. And um, I'd say the fourth thing is that uh, our highest priority right now is to um, develop and build a facility that's going to help us really sees the opportunity that we see with uh, immunotherapy. Whether that checkpoint uh, inhibitors or cellular therapy or, you know, whatever, you know, the latest um, immunological approach is, we, we see that as, as a very important thing to prioritize uh, in this building. So, we, for instance, we're going to have a large uh, GMP facility here so that we can manufacture our own uh, CAR T cells. We have um, a group of investigators that are developing, um, you know, new CAR T uh, approaches. And um, we're going to make sure that that group is, um, has everything they need to seize the opportunity there. Well, thank you so much for talking with me.